welcome. My name is Milena. I am the Playful Knitter, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. Thank you so much for checking in and spending some of your time visiting my channel. It is always such a privilege to be here with you guys. This is my channel where I talk about my love of knitting, my love of colors, and then I sprinkle it all with just a little bit of music played on the piano by me. <laughs> so any music you might hear on my blogs or here on my regular episodes um, will be played by me. Yeah, I am a Danish knitter. I am coming to you from the northern part of Denmark. It is quite the gloomy day today, but I am hoping that the light is with me so you can see what I'm going to show you. I have windows right next to me, so that's why I'm looking that way. <laughs> Since Vlogmas in December, I've been wanting to sit down again and talk to you guys because it was such, it was just a blast. Thank you all for spending some of your December, your very busy December with me. I just, I appreciate it so much. It was so much fun. Um, life just flew by. So today is Tuesday, January 30th, and I'm fin finally sitting down to chat with you again. I'm very happy about that. But also since Vlogmas, I've had some new subscribers. Numbers has gone up. Um, so I thought that I might do just a tiny introduction in case you haven't seen like um, a normal episode before. So um, I am Malena from Denmark, as I already said. I live here in Alborg with my husband and our two girls and two cats. That if you did watch Vlogmas, you will definitely definitely have seen. Yeah, they're, they take up quite the space, but we love our cats, so it's okay. <laughs> I am a musician for that's what I do for a job. I do concerts for kids. I teach music in the younger classes, not in um, regular school, but like as an after school activity for the youngest ones. I do kindergarten music, daycare music. Um, yeah, just music with kids. That's what I do and love. Um, yeah, so. But what we're here for is the knitting. Yeah, I have quite a bit of FOs for you today. They're not all socks, don't worry. <laughs> I do knit a lot of socks, but I have, I have three whips, no, three FOs that are not socks. So yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself for that. <laughs> Then I also have a couple of whips, not many. I'm trying to just uh, downsize my whip pile a little bit. Um, and then I have a knitter of the day to chat to you about. And to top it all off, I have a giveaway at the end because you guys give me so much and I want to give something back. And I have a couple of things that I have had laying around for a while um, for giveaways. So I, one of the things that I want to do this year on my uh, regular episodes, so on the podcast, is I want to do a giveaway, if not every time, most of the times. And what you do to enter those is leave me a comment with the prompt that I will tell you a little bit later. Because now I want to get just dive on in and talk about the knitting. If my voice sounds a bit funny, I apologize. Uh, one of the reasons that I haven't sat down before is that I've been sick for the last two weeks. I'm fine, nothing big, you know, just a big round of the flu. So yeah, but knitting. I have two shawls and a wrap to show you first. This first one is a very good example of you do anything for your kids. <laughs> um, my oldest is in high school. And she doesn't really wear anything I knit anymore. You know, it's not stylish, mom. But she was like, I want one of them scarves. And I was like, what are you talking about? One of those tiny things that everybody wear around their neck? She's like, no, no, the big kind. 
So I was like, I went online and I went on Petite Knit's website and showed her the Sophie shawl. And I, and I was like, is this it? She was like, yeah, that's what I want. And I want it in white. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm a colorful person. I like to knit with all the colors. So a shawl, all in white. There's love in every stitch. Let's just say that. So it is, it's kind of crazy. It's very, very long. So I'll just, I'll show you as best as I can. But yes, this is the Sophie shawl by Petite Knit. Everything I talk about here today, you can find in the description box below. So if I mention a pattern or a podcast or a yarn, a store, anything you want to know about, just click on the, I think it says like more or something, right? underneath my picture and then there'll be a description box and everything should be linked for you there. And if by chance I forgot anything, leave me a comment. I'll let you know what it's all about. So this Sophie shawl, she has already been wearing it quite a bit. So it has stretched even more. It's very long. And I don't know if it's just the yarn that I knitted in. It is Viking Garn, Viking Garn, Alpaca Breeze. The colorway is number 300. Very nice and cozy and so very soft. Yeah, and she loves it and she wears it. So yeah, plus it was all garter and I just love my knit stitches. So it wasn't all bad. Yes, and then Ella, my youngest, she, she's 12 going on 35. She's like, mom, I want a shawl too. But Ella and Augusta, they're like night and day. They get along perfectly and they love each other, but they're like, one is blonde, one is redhead. So yeah, that's like, that just symbolizes the difference between them. They're just amazing. And this is what Ella wanted. This is the close to you shawl. Maybe you can see if I, no, Ugh, it doesn't show up at all. Hardly. It has sparkle. <laughs> and I've made this one before. She has one already, but she wanted another one. And I jumped at the chance, first of all, to buy yarn because I was at um, like a podcaster's get together at by Kiel, like she's a, a Danish yarn dyer. She has a store a bit north of Alborg and we all went there, a whole bunch of us, and it was such a great day. So I jumped at the chance to buy some yarn and enter a knit along uh, with Maya Tractor Lady. She has a podcast. She has done the Glimmer Goose Cal. So translated, that will be Glitter Goose. So everything that glitters is gold. <laughs> you can never have enough glitter. And this right here is the yarn. Maybe you can see the glitter a little bit better there. So this is yarn from by Kielerik and the colorway is orchid. Is it orchid? I have to check. So don't tell you something wrong. Come on. Yes, it is Orchid. It is on her Terran base, and that is 75% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 5% Gold Stellina. It is a quick knit. It is a wonderful knit. I can definitely recommend it. So as you can see, I use less than one skein and still have this very cute, very wonderful, tiny shawl. It's perfect for Ella. The Close to You shawl by a name that I am not brave enough to pronounce, so I will put it on the screen and in the description box. <laughs> I actually think that this pattern might be free. Maybe. I might be wrong, but either way, it is linked below. It's a great pattern. Huge recommendation. Those were the two shawls. Then I have a wrap. If you watched Vlogmas, you will have seen that I went kind of crazy 
with the advents last year. Nothing new under the sun. It's just such a treat to open those little bags every day. And last year, I was just about to say this year, <laughs> last year I was, I received the sweetest and kindest gift from Camilla, Cami Jo. She also has a podcast and she is a Danish iron dyer. You guys probably know her. She's amazing. Um, and she gifted me her advent. The theme was Anna Anker, a Danish uh, painter. And um, I have my leftovers right here. And this makes me insanely happy. Colors lined up like this and all in order and neatly organized. I'm just, oh. Are they pretty? Oh my gosh, I, I can't even. It's just so pretty. So I have leftovers and I, I'm going to do uh, some socks with some of it, but it, because it is sock, her sock base that I love. She's changing it up, but I'll just have to be okay with that. And what I did, I did not cast this on during Vlogmas because I kind of wanted to see all the colors first and that's why I don't have any of the other advents on my needles yet either. I know what to do with two of them but I haven't cast on yet. Yeah. Um, and then I was looking around and I thought I was going to do one thing. And then one of you led me towards Amba O'Brien. And um, I just want to say thank you because, whoa, she has the most inspiring patterns and there's so many for 24, 20 grams uh, advent, advents. So go check her out if you have one laying around that you don't know what to knit with. And the pattern that she did, I think that was the newest one actually, is the Passy Flora Wrap. Let me see if I can show you. So what you do is you knit like uh, two triangles and then you join them together with a three needle bind off. It's so amazing. And it's knit stitches all the way. I love it. So here we are. This is color number one, and then the first triangle goes all the way down to color number 12. And then you just set that aside and start the second triangle, color number 13. So you can see the first color is just a tiny bit you use. And then all the way down to color number 24. And I think it's such fun to see, look at the first 12 colors. And then the last 12. It's like it could be two different calendars, but they just, they go so well together. Let me see if I can just, maybe you can see it if I go like this. Isn't that amazing? I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And I just, I was actually kind of sad when I cast this off. So I might do another one <laughs> with with one of the other advents. I don't know, I'm kind of contemplating. So pretty. Oh, I love it. The colors that are, that I would have chosen myself are definitely these, but I just also think that this is so, so pretty. So pretty. Thank you, Camilla. It was just, it has been an honor to work with your yarn. Oh, yes. So two shawls, a wrap, and now um, lean back because we're going to go into the socks and there are quite a few. Let me start off with my one stripe per day Advent socks. Uh, last, or in 2022, I did it for the first time and I did uh, the Cozy Knitter Advent Stripes. But last year, a Danish yarn dyer, a lonely sock lady, Lone, a very sweet friend, she made some sets where you had like um, four minis and then you joined, so you had six colors and then you joined the next one, six colors and until 24. 
and there's enough for two pairs of socks and I share it with my sweet friend Christina. So here is my pair. I had the gray contrast. It came with a gray and a white. I had the gray contrast. And I, I knit them top down. So this is color number one. And the second one. I don't have enough, enough blockers, so I'm gonna have to show you one on the blocker and one not on a blocker. <laughs> But they're just so pretty. And after knitting in the Cozy Knitter yarn in 2022, I learned that I don't use the contrast on the ribbing for these socks because um, then either I have to have the leg way longer than I like or I have a foot that's too long for me. So I just do the ribbing in the stripes as well. Yay. Okay, let me hold on. There. I just had to rearrange a couple things to make room. Let's stay, um, let's stay with the Christmas yarns. Because I ordered from Three by the Sea Designs, wonderful, wonderful ladies in Florida. They have the most amazing colors the most amazing notions and bags. Oh my gosh. If I lived in the States, I would never have any money because I would throw them uh, their way. <laughs> um, so they um, announced that they were going to do a mystery color sock set with um, the Grinch theme. So I ordered Mean and Green uh, mystery sock set. And let me tell you, I was not disappointed at all. And these are the socks that I knit with it. Look at that colorway. Let, let me get up close so you can really see. Oh, I think that's so pretty. And the second sock. I just, I did a manila sock kind of a shorty maybe somewhere in between i think i have like 20 rounds i do my vanilla socks 56 stitches i cast on then i do 15 rounds of one by one ribbing where i twist the knit stitch and if i do like a normal length sock for me i do 40 rounds for the leg but i'm pretty sure that this is just 20. and then i do a heel flap and gusset and I do a slip stitch heel and I have this garter ridge on the edge of the heel flap because then I find that it is easier to pick up the stitches for the gusset. And then after the gusset, uh, after I'm done with the decreases, then I have 50 rounds for the foot and then I do, what is that called? A rounded toe maybe? In Danish, it's called a bunto. <laughs> I think it's called a rounded toe. If not, please feel free to correct me in the comments. This is the yarn that I have left. Yay, leftovers. I'm so excited. When I purchase yarn or receive yarn where I just, you know, the color is just so, so pretty. I almost don't want to use it like I want to knit with it really bad, but I don't want it to be gone. Do you guys know that feeling? It's like, oh, I, I never want this yarn to not be, I never want to not be able to knit in this yarn. So I'm very happy that I have some leftovers. That was a crazy sentence, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Pair number three are these. Again, a vanilla sock, but this time I did a little fade up here. I was inspired by Kim from 3 by the Sea Designs. They also have a podcast, so go on and check it out. It's very nice. She did Lockmas for the first time last year. It was so nice. It was wonderful, you know, like when you watch either Logs or Lockmas or Vlogtober or whatever, I feel like you get to know people so much better because it's everyday life. And I just, I enjoy that so much. 
So thank you, Kim, for letting us all into your life and showing us some of your everyday. And this yarn is from a homespun house. It's called Road Trip. So I did, I just, I, I went on Three by the Sea Designs profile on Instagram and I looked at the picture with the sock there and I just kind of counted as best as I could and I copied. I did a copycat and now I also have some faded socks. I think that Kim also does a fade before the toe, but I was too lazy to do that. I like when you do something up here so that when you have a sock set, you can kind of use the contrast a little bit more and like have that play a role as well on your socks. I think that's kind of cool. All right. Now I want to show you something that I think is just, I think it's genius. Absolutely. My friend, Christina, um, she is Biak Oganu on Instagram. What is your Ravelry name? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't remember, but this pattern will definitely be linked below because it is just, yeah, it's genius. She has, done a new type of heel, new to me anyways. Um, I've never seen this before. I, you know, there's a heel flap and gusset. There's like uh, fish lips kiss heel with like the turn and the wraps and everything, the shadow wrap heel, all those kinds. Um, and then I've also done the magic heel by Judy from uh, the Autumn Acorn. And you know, it's fine, it fits well, but Christina, she added something, a whole different type of heel. I don't really know how to show you. Let me go like this. So, this sock is knit all in the round, and then you do a little bit of, see this like one by one ribbing here, and then she does like this cup on the heel. So, even though you have no heel flap or anything like that, and you don't have to like wrap and turn or anything, you still get a heel with room for like your instep and everything. And I think that is so amazing. So like if you are a new sock knitter and you don't like to do the heel flap and gusset, you don't like to do all the wrap and turns and whatever it's called, German short rows and everything like that, this is perfect because you still get a sock and you don't have to do any of all that Philly stuff at all. Um, she, her pattern is out. They're called the Gudrun socks, Gudrun Strømpe. They're both in Danish and in English. I was so lucky that I got to test them for her and I just, I love it. I love the way they fit. I love the way they knit up. Just big, huge recommendation from me. Go check her out. And the yarn that I used was uh, from Chapelvalle, a crazy sabobal, in the colorway Papa Gay Parrot. It's very parody, <laughs> if that's even a word. <laughs> okay, we have four more pairs of socks and then I promise I'll play you some music. <laughs> This one was also a test knit, actually a test knit that I knitted quite some time ago, but it just came out. And this pair of, so of socks are by Stephen West. They're the first pair in his 2024 year of socks. These are the Spiral Splash socks. I tested them in March last year. They're also knit with a crazy sababal. I can't remember the colorway right now, but I will put it in the description box. And then this yarn is um, a monthly club dyed by Christina from Birkefi, because she doesn't dye yarn anymore, but the yarn is very, very gorgeous. And these socks, aren't they fun? He does a heel flap and gusset 
on his socks as well, but he does like the, oh, there, now you can see. He does it with garter ridges. So it's just all garter. And um, I was actually like kind of, uh, how would I feel about that, wearing that in my shoes? But I've tried it and I like it. I don't feel it at all. I thought I would. I thought that I would not like it, but I do. Speaking of monthly clubs, this year is the year of Gilmore Girls and I love the Gilmore Girls. I love watching Gilmore Girls, I just everything. And the sweet Karen from Streck Aromatik and Lone from A Lonely Sock Lady. Karen, she has the Streck and <laughs> Like combining Danish and English is not easy. <laughs> Strike Aromantik means knitting and romance. That is her podcast. It is in Danish. And Lona is a sweet lady that does the self-striping yarn. And they collaborated with um, about doing like a year. Yep, it's a yearly club, I guess you would call it. A yarn club for 2024. If I can explain myself, whoa. <laughs> and it is past 10 o'clock, so I should be like up and running, but apparently not. <laughs> but they have done 12 colors for the Yarn Club of 2024, and this is the January colorway. It's called a whale, a rabbit, or a mouse. And they're all linked to either like a picture from the show or a scene from the show or something like that. Yeah. I think these stripes are amazing. I did a vanilla sock with a slip stitch heel flap and gusset. 40 rounds, the heel after the decreases, 50 rounds, rounded toe. Bingo, socks for me. <laughs> and yes, I do wear that many socks. <laughs> and some of them I just hug until I'm ready to wear them. All right, let me see here. Okay, two pairs of socks and they're both knit in DK weight yarn. Um, I have marked this episode as having sponsored content because I have received a gift and um, been able to test a couple of yarns. This yarn, the Regia Virtuoso Color, in the colorway, where is that? Let's see. This is your, if you look at the color, then I can find the colorway while you look at that. <laughs> the colorway is 030076. Right there. It is a DK weight, and when I knit my DK weight socks, I normally knit them on a 3.25 millimeter needle, but these ones, maybe you can see, the yarn is like single. What do you call that? Hello brain. Single spun? I don't know. Like a merino single, but it's a sock yarn. And I thought that it was, I don't know, it just felt a little bit thinner to me than like a normal DK weight. So I made them on a 2.75 millimeter needle instead. I knit them for my husband and they fit him perfectly. I did 48 stitches, 40 rounds, slip stitch heel and gusset, and then yeah, the foot and you know, like a rounded toe. So nothing new under the sun but they fit him. They're a little bit more snug around his instep, but he kind of likes that. So, and I think this yarn just knits up beautifully. Look at the color changes. This right here is kind of abrupt, but that is because I did the heel. I was a bit more lucky with the way it worked out on this one. It 
it is a wonderful yarn. So now what I want to do is I want to have him wear them a lot. He wears his socks all the time. I want to ha have him wear them a lot so I can see how it kind of keeps up since it's not plied. That's the word, single ply, yay! You guys have probably been screaming at me, single ply. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how they kind of hold up. Yes. And now for these. They don't show well at all on a sock blocker, but I'll show them as best as I can. Look at these. These are the back to the 80s socks. I co-designed these with Karen from uh, Streck Aromantik. We have the Sock Knitters Club together. And um, I, of course, finished the pair that I did for the design and everything there, but I, those were Ella's size. And I wanted a pair for myself. And they've just been on my needles forever because I just kept having to push them back for all kinds of other things. And I just, I love them so much. It is a DK weight sock, but I did knit these ones in fingering uh, weight yarn held double. And I knit them in yarn from It's Yarn. Here's their logo in these two colors. <laughs> so contrast color, main color, and this is exactly what I have left of the main color. <laughs> what you see is what you get. The main color is called Dronning's Bouquet. It's called, that means the Queen's Bouquet. And this one is pastel pink. And compared to when I did them in just straight up DK weight, I feel like they're, the drape of them is just, it's even better. They just sit perfectly on my foot. If I remember, I will put in a picture right here so you can see them on my feet. I love them so much and I'm so happy that they're done and I get to wear them. I don't wear my DK weight socks too much in my shoes because it's just too warm for me, but I wear socks around the house all the time. So these are like my house socks, house shoes, or they will be after this episode because now I can wear them and you know, it doesn't matter that they're going to get cat hair all over them. <laughs> wow. If you're still here, thank you. You're doing very well. And now I will tell you a little bit about the knitter of the day and then I will play you some music related to that knitter. Recently we have had quite the event here in Denmark. In Denmark, we have a monarchy. We also have a prime minister and a parliament and everything. And they're the one with all the decisions and we go vote and everything's like very democratic. Um, but we still have a monarchy and, well, I don't think everybody loves it, but I don't mind them at all. But yeah, I, I don't mind them at all. I think our queen is very cool. And uh, she is also a crafter. She paints, she does needlepoint. I don't know if she knits actually, but she is still knitter of the day or crafter of the day because I want to pay tribute to her and all that she has done for us in the 52 years that she was queen. Fortunately, she is still here. Um, by tradition, you inherit the throne from your parent. Um, when they pass away, but she decided, and she told us all, she does like a speech on television every New Year's Eve, and she announced that she was going to abdicate. And we're like, what? <laughs> Her son, he is, well, I'm 46 and he's older than me, and has a wife and kids and everything, and he is more than ready to be king. So he was, um, she abdicated on January 14th, and he took over the throne, and there's a, whole big celebration and everything. And I have to say, I love the fact that she, or I love the fact that she is still here and we could just celebrate and not be sad because the queen passed away. So we could just be happy and joyful. And it was just, it was an amazing day. 
I was so lucky that I was out, I was working actually, because I was out doing a concert with Annemette Reitrotus, she's a violinist, and we're doing a concert together and kind of a concert uh, talk kind of thing, telling, speaking a little bit about our love of knitting and how we met each other through knitting and stuff like that. And so we had a whole bunch of knitters together with us and at 3 p.m. when they're gonna uh, announce the king. We just, we all, we took a break and everybody was just looking at their screens and it was just, yeah, it was such a celebration. So I also want to just say thank you and pay tribute to our sweet king, Her Majesty Queen Margaret II and play a song that um, is related to her. I read that her very favorite story is Winnie the Pooh. So I chose the theme from that to play for you today. And I invite you all to sit back, relax, and let your stitches flow. I love Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it's just, he's so cute. And I love the fact that that is her favorite story as well. She's just, she's an amazing lady and she's just so knowledgeable and she's just, she's the kind of person and I just want to sit down and listen to her tell me a story. And, you know, no matter the subject, I just want to listen to her. She's just a very interesting interesting and kind and warm-hearted person. And now I want to show you what I have on my needles. I have two pairs of socks, and, well, actually three pairs of socks, but the last pair is, um, is a test knit, so I'm not allowed to show that, but I do want to show you the yarn because I think it's very, very pretty. This is one of the yarn clubs from Kama Jo Knit from last year. She did the Year of Birds. This year she's doing like um, mushrooms and stuff. But this right here is the Kingfisher. And I think it's just so very pretty. And I love the fact that I can use this sock set in this design that is in here. And I hope to be able to show you soon because it's very cool. But now for something that I can show you and that might be a little bit hard to show. So let me do like a cut here and get it out of this bag so I can show you what's inside. So what I have here, I have shown you before. It is the Jelly Roll Blanket by K.F. Jones. Uh, and 
it's been on my needles for quite a while in let me think 2021 yeah that must have been it i had an advent from Birk Abel, a danish yarn dyer couple that don't they don't dye yarn anymore together and i did the first half of this blanket with those 24 colors and then when i was done i was like hmm it's nice and long but it's not wide enough so i just put it aside and then i got their calendar the year after and now i am joining those colors and you know this is kind of the this is a kind of project for me that Every once in a while, I'll get it out and put in like two, three colors. And then I'm like, okay, I need a break. I'll work on something else. And then I'll just get it out. I don't know. I kind of want to get it done now, but I'll see. It is a whole lot of garter stitch. And I do love that. So I am on. I just joined a new color right here. I'm on the second to last row. So six more colors is what I have. I have three colors in every row and there are 20 grammars. Let me see. So this is about how long a panel I get with just one color right here. Maybe you can see, I hope so. And I just, I love it so much. So many different colors in here and some are like right in your face and some are like very neutral. And I think it's so gorgeous. This color right here, I think, is it called 50 Shades of Denim? I think so. The theme is Beverly Hills 90210 for this one. And the first one was Metador, a Danish television show, a very old one, but very famous and well known by a whole lot of Danes. Yes, you came inside and now you're making noise. <laughs> the cat's here. Um, so yeah, two very different TV shows, but they go well together in a blanket. And then two sock whips. In December, I ordered from Giddy Yarns her Christmas Eve cast on. The theme was the snowman. I love the snowman. Oh. I just, I have to watch it every Christmas. I just love it so much. When I was a child, it was always on television in December. And these days I just find it on YouTube. And in here, in my little bag by Mood. Very cute. I like mini bags. I have cast on the, I'm here for the food socks. <laughs> this pattern is by... Dana Ray makes another designer that I just, I am crazy about. She has the most amazing sock patterns. You've seen me knit some of them before. I am already done with the first sock. And uh, like I talked about before, I like doing a sock where you can use the contrast color, like have that play a little bit of a bigger role than just you know, cuff and toe or heel cuff and toe. And uh, I put it on here, on the little pattern that she has. In the pattern, this right here is on the foot as well, but I just put it up on the leg, made the leg like a shorty because the set from Giddy Yarns was 50 grams of the main color and 20 gram mini. Here are the colors. I think they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at the little like speckles on here. They're so subtle, but just, oh, perfection. I love it so much. And I've just started the second sock. They're knit on a 2.25 millimeter needle. I knit all my socks on Chagu needles. They're just, they're my favorite. And the set came with like, so, no, it didn't come with you, babe. <laughs> it came with 
these little like stitch markers right here you can maybe you can see it's like a snowman there are some other ones as well but they're not on here I always use like a progress keeper to mark where I'm done with the decreases for the gusset and then I use light bulb markers to count every 10 row to know when I need to start my um, toe. Okay. Last Saturday, I had a concert and I'd been so worried going into this concert because my voice was just blah because of the cold and the flu and everything. It was just, it was crazy. And I was just coughing up a storm and ugh, it was just, it was not good. And I, um, I was just fortunate to get to play with a, a chamber orchestra from the local symphony. And we're gonna do like a children's concert where we invited the, the kids and their families up onto the stage. And then the orchestra and I, we had like our backs out into the, the main like hall where you normally sit. And then they're just like on the stage with us. And it was just, it was amazing. And I was just, oh, I was so scared that my voice was not gonna keep up. But it, everything went well. And we had just the best concert and I just, I had a blast. So, long story short, I treated myself to a cast on. <laughs> um, not Saturday night, because I was just so tired, but Sunday morning, I went in my stash and I picked out one of my opal colors. I love knitting socks in opal yarn. And fortunately, my husband Lars, he loves to wear them. And he's just, he's not afraid of the color when it's on his feet. He's a very neutral person, you know, don't put me in pink or purple or anything like that, which is fine. Um, but on his feet, I can knit all kinds of things. I don't know if he would actually wear pink socks, but he doesn't mind them having, you know, a bit of life. I already did one pair. I, I actually think I finished that since I talked to you last, but he's wearing them, so I can't show you. They're also in Opal Yarns in the Van Gogh line. And what I cast on was another pair from that line. This is color number 5431 in Variation nach Vincent van Gogh. And then you can like see the painting that they're inspired by. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not too far from the airport, so you might hear some noise right now. I apologize. And um, look at this. I think this is so pretty oh my gosh look at that it's like with the little stars and everything I think this is so nicely done I have to say I am very very impressed with this colorway so I have the first sock almost done I'm trying something new because normally when I knit in opal yarns I knit on a 2.5 millimeter needle but Lars finds that when he wears his socks for you know, maybe you can wear them like two days in a row, that's fine. Um, but they kind of stretch out a bit. So I went down a needle size to a 2.25 millimeter needle and the fabric is definitely way more dense. So I still have the same amount of stitches, 64 stitches, and still, you know, just a vanilla sock, 15 rounds of one by one ribbing, 15, did I say that? 15, and then 50 rounds for the cuff a slip stitch heel flap and gusset and foot and then I'm working on the rounded toe that's just what I do for my uh, vanilla socks but I did try something new because I was watching uh, the Noble Character Crafts podcast it's so good if you have not watched it just turn this off and run over it's just amazing and uh, well, actually two podcasts and then uh, Yana from the Finnish Knitting Stories. So it's a tough choice. Either way, amazing podcasts. And she was talking about the French strong heel. And I went on Ravelry. And I was like, what's that? I, I kind of want to do like um, a bit more, have them be a bit more hard wearing for hubby. 
Not that he has a lot of holes in his socks, but you know, just whatever you can do. And maybe you can see it right here. So the slip stitches from the, the heel flap kind of continues down here underneath the foot. I could not find a pattern, but then I just typed it in on YouTube and I found a tutorial and that helped me. It's just, I think I could have figured it out myself, but I'm kind of, I'm the kind of person I like to be guided. I like to see, okay, what, what's the right way to do it? Not that I would have done it the wrong way, but you know, it's just, it's nice to hear. So that's on the heel. And then the last 30, and this is where Noble Character Crafts comes into the picture. The last 30 rounds before the foot, underneath the foot, I do again, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit for one round and then just one round of plain uh, knitting, knit stitches. And then, you know, so I do a slip stitch underneath the foot. So like the ball of the foot for to make it extra strong. So we're trying that out. I've never done it before, but he's kind of my, um, what is that called? In Danish, it's called Fosuskanin. Test rabbit. <laughs> I don't know. He's my tester. Yeah. But I think that is just such a good idea. One sock almost done. And as always, the cuff for the second one sitting there waiting because I don't enjoy knitting ribbing. So I just do two cuffs and then the second sock is already cast on and I feel like I can just go. It's silly, I know, but it makes me so very happy. Look at the little stars on there as well. Isn't that just so pretty? Beautiful colorway. Yep. Those were, those were my whips, if I could talk. Holy moly. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> okay. So I also have a couple things that came in the mail, something I ordered, something that I was gifted I want to show you. And um, it's been Christmas, and I also had my birthday on January 2nd. And I was gifted some very, very sweet things from my daughters. And I want to share them with you because they are craft related. And then we also have that giveaway. So let me show you all the eye candy first. Okay, I think I've got it all now. <laughs> I purchased two sock sets. One from Cami Jo. This is her January colorway in this year of mushrooms. This is on her merino sock base. And there's two minis. What's this color? Oh yeah, the bleeding bonnet. I especially like this main color. I think it's so pretty. And then I subscribed to this year's sock club from It's Yarn because I just, I love Marlena's colors. They're just so, so pretty. And I think the colorway from February is actually arriving today. And I'm very excited to see that because it is inspired by the queen. This one is the January one. It's called Winter Bliss. And I have to say, this is just gorgeous. Look at these colors and the little tiny speckles. Marlena is just, she's an expert at the speckles. I just love the way she does it. It's on her sock base. So 75, 25 Superwash Merino Nylon. They're both fingering, but this one is an 80-20 base. This has, um, Per 100 grams, there's 420 meters, and per 100 grams, we have 365 meters, so. And this one is high twist. Very, very pretty. And when we went to that podcaster's get-together, 
the sweet, sweet Charlotte, she gave, gave me these that she dyed herself. Aren't they amazing? I love them so much. Charlotte also has a podcast in Danish. She's Hosleostrik. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. I love them so much. They're very, very pretty. Okay. And um, then Amrit from Amritstrik. She has a yarn store not too far from Copenhagen and she's got a new sock yarn that she sent me so I could try it out and I'm so so grateful and excited. It's Cascade Yarns, their heritage, the sock base. Let me see if I can give you more information. So it runs 437 yards or 400 meters per 100 grams. And uh, this is colorway number 5772, super wash merino, nylon, 7525. This one is color number 5773. And 5637, still the same base, Cascade Yarns Heritage. And then this one, the Heritage 6 hand paints. Look at that. So it's not it's not like an indie dyed yarn, but it's hand painted. Still 7525 merino nylon, but it runs 292 yards or 267 meters per 100 grams. So more of like sport decay-ish. Very, very pretty. This colorway is number 608. And look what she also put in the package. Oh, sorry. This bag, isn't that just too cute? So. In Denmark, we have different dialects and we use them a little bit, but you know, it's just, there's Danish and then there's all the dialects. And Amrit is from the Southern part of Denmark and she always put these little cute, very cool and cute sayings on there. So, okay, here I go. Are you ready? Ostrek gero iloch. That means knitting keeps you calm, like calms your mind. Excuse me, dude, what are you doing? You're not going into my piano. Sorry. So, as I was saying, thank you very, very much. I'm, like, I'm so excited to have this beautiful yarn on my needles. I think I want to cast on this color first because I want to like knit a pair of just one colored socks, but I want to find like a pattern that has some kind of structure in it. See if I can like, or maybe some lace or something. I don't know, I'll see. I think it's just so pretty and so soft. So, so, so soft. Yes. So I did have a birthday and I bought myself a couple things. <laughs> I bought myself this one from Mood. It is the Lexi Mini. I just, I'm crazy about these mini bags. This one, I, I will be able to fit like a small, like sock project in here. It's not very big at all. But you know, it is a bag, so I could also use it for a purse. I don't really know. I just, I like it so much. There's room for needles and everything up there. It's very nice. And then, the, then I, I bought this too. It is the large set from Chao Gu, the metal needles. And I was like, when I bought the small set, I should just have bought a complete set. I was like, no, you never knit with the larger needles. You're just, yeah. I thought that I would have plenty if I just had up until like a US 8 or a five millimeter. But then I got it in my head that I wanted to knit 
the um, reluctant homeschooler cardigan. I, I have the yarn for it. And I also have needles, so it's not a problem. I have needles. But I just, I couldn't get myself started. And I was like, why? Why are you just hesitating? I'm like, hmm, because I don't have my favorite needles to put in that project. So I splurged, I found them on sale, and I got myself a Chowgu large needle set. So hopefully soon I will cast on a reluctant homeschooler, or maybe it will have to wait just for a little while because in my online knitting group, we're talking about knitting ourselves another ranunculus. Some of us, like me, have knitted it multiple times before, and some not so much, which is also fine. I just, I love that pattern. I love wearing it. And the one that I wear the most is just, it's so stretched out and it's just very, very worn and maybe not so pretty anymore. You saw it all the time in Lochmas because I kind of use it for all around the house, just comfy kind of PJ, PJ kind of thing. I need a new one. I also have the yarn for that. And now I also have the needles. So that's perfect. And speaking of generosity and gifts, Maya, my sweet, sweet friend Maya, she gifted me this fabric. Can you believe it? Her friend uh, helped her buy, uh, she was, I don't know, was, was she in the States or, well, she brought home, anyways, she bought home some fabric for Maya from the States that you can't get it here in Denmark. And Maya shared it with me. I sew bags, like little project bags, the one with the little peekaboo window. And I'm going to make some peekaboo bags out of this fabric, both for me and for Maya, of course. I'm just, I'm so excited. All kinds of different gnomes. Maya knits lots of gnomes and they're so cute. I love the gnomes. Look at that. This one, I think it's the first one that will be sewn up. I have to see. I have to go find some fabric for the lining. So something matching. And now for the even more exciting thing. Ella, my youngest, she is a crocheter. She crochets up a storm. She just loves it. She watches crochet podcasts. She, I don't know, she's, she watches tutorials and just crochets, all kinds of amazing things. She's working, she's made herself like um, shirts, you know, like the ones with just the sleeves and uh, bags. She's working on a, a granny square blanket right now. It's just, she's, yeah, mama's proud. <laughs> and she made us all Christmas presents. And this is what she made me a little project bag or like to keep notions or stuff in there. Isn't that cute? And then for my birthday, she made me this one. A little pouch. Look at the heart on there. I keep my barber cords in here. I think it's just so pretty. She was very, very good. I've actually talked to her about coming on here because I never show anything crochet. I can crochet, but nowhere near as good as she can. And I just, I'm a knitter, so you won't see much crochet on here. But I was talking to her, talking to her the other day and saying, why don't you come on and be my guest star? And I think that she might be okay with that. So we'll have to see. I'll let you know more when the time, when and if the time comes. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've talked for a long time today, you guys. Before I let you go, let's talk giveaway. And uh, speaking of Cami Jo, I have something from her. It's like a five mini skein set, single ply. Yay, I remembered. In the most gorgeous colors. The set is called Sahara. Sorry for the crinkling and the glare and everything I hope you can see. I want this. 
but I'm going to give it to you guys because that's what Camilla and I agreed on and because you need it even more than me or just as much as me. <laughs> and you know, I want to pay it forward. You guys give me so much. It's just, I love being able to sit here and chat with you and that we can connect throughout the world. Um, and actually, that is um, the prompt for this giveaway. I would like for you to leave me a comment below this episode and let me know which country you're watching from. Because when you go on like your YouTube studio, you can see where, where your viewers are from. And I've been seeing all kinds of countries and I'm like, whoa, that's amazing. So of course you can write anything you want, but if you want to be eligible for this giveaway, please let me know which country you're watching from. I hope that's not too personal. And so, yeah, if it is, I apologize. Don't, don't you know, don't, no addresses, no uh, cities or anything like that, but just maybe put your country in a comment below. And I will draw a winner and announce the winner on the next episode. So please be aware that I will never ever comment and say that you've won on the comment that you leave here. I will not ask you to send me money for postage or anything. Um, click on a link, anything like that. The only way that you can know that you have won is if I say your name here on the episode. I hope that's okay. Uh, the giveaway is open worldwide. I, uh, I'm not sponsored or anything. I pay for postage out of my own money, but you know, paid forward. And I would like for everybody who watches to be eligible to win this giveaway. So until next time, thank you so much for being here. Take care. I hope you have lots of knitting time. I wish you all the best and lots of hygge. Thank you for being here today. Bye.